Welcome back to Kyrie's Garage, man. Before we get started, do me a little favor, y'all. You see this little red button down there in the corner? A little red icon. Go ahead and click that and subscribe for me. If you guys haven't already, I'm going to give you guys a second to go ahead and do that. All right, man. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. So as you guys know, we got that replacement window. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that in there today and show y'all how it's done. Still back there, man. Let it cure for a minute. So it should be ready. So I'm going to go ahead, pull it out, give y'all the cold start, and we'll get to it. So before we get started, man, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this garage. It's a little dirty. We got leaves and dirt everywhere. So let's take care of that before we get started. All right, that's a little bit better. Now let's get to it. All right, so first order of business, we're gonna have to go in and get this panel removed and also the panel down here. That'll expose the two screws to get the door panel off. And once those panels are off, they're gonna be screws down in there. You just remove those next. So once those screws are removed, you're gonna go ahead and do the um, push button. So what you'll do is you'll push the center of this end, but don't push it too hard else the center will fall out and you'll have to get it throughout the door panel somewhere. So just push it halfway and pull it out. And on the back end right here, just be a Phillips head, just unscrew that. All right, so once those two are out, you wanna go ahead and get a pry tool like this I bought a full kit on Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks. It's well worth it. It'll keep you from scratching things and it'll just make your life a lot easier. So I always go ahead and say invest in one of those. So with this, what you're going to do is go underneath the panels all the way around. And then you'll just pry up section by section and remove the panel. And at the end, this part here will be kind of stuck because of the window ceiling. So once I get to that point, I'll show you guys what to do next. So once the panel is pulled up on all sides, it'll look kind of like this. It'll be loose. And then the only thing attached will be the uh, inside of the window seal. So what you'll do is grab each side of the panel and wiggle up and pull up. But don't pull too hard and snatch it away because the wires are still connected from the door handle and the window module. And I believe the speaker as well. So let's do that and I'll get with you guys in a second. So once it's off, just go ahead and start removing all of the um, attached wires. Just unclip them. And for the door handle, all you do is push it out from the back and then it'll pop out. Just like this. So it'll pop through the front. And then you'll just push it back through the uh, panel to get it out. Once the door panel is removed, you want to go ahead and take out the window switch. Because we'll need it to move the window up and down inside the door to detach it and also to attach the new window. So go ahead and do that and then plug it back in. Next, we're going to go ahead and remove the speaker. So you'll need, I believe, is a T25. And just go ahead and remove one, two, and three, and four. And you'll pull the speaker out and disconnect the wire. Screws are removed, but it'll still kind of stick on there because I don't know if you can see that, but there's the adhesive. So this is another part where the pry tool comes in handy, man. So you, all you want to do is go down in there, pry it around to loosen it up and pull it off. So what I did in order to release this tab was push in with the pry tool. And then I used my off hand to pull up because if not, it'll just keep popping back into place. So you'll have to push and pull up on the window through this side at the same time. So to get to the other side, what you'll do is you'll put your car in run mode using the switch that you attached again just go ahead and just pull it up so now you'll have access to the other tab so we'll go ahead and do the same to this side and i'll see you in a second so now that both tabs are released what you're going to do is go ahead and hold this window at the top and you're going to use the window module to pull down the um, connection point so that the window will be separated from it and after that, we'll go ahead and angle the window with the front end of it going downward and the back end pointing out so that we can remove it. So now the window is released. So what we'll do is go ahead, turn the car back off so you don't kill your battery. 
and then you'll just tilt the window as I said before and just have it angled with the front end down and the back end all the way up. So then all you'll do from this point is go ahead and pull the window up and out and just be careful not to drop it. So with mine, it's in a bunch of pieces. So I just want to be really careful so that it doesn't fall apart when I take it out. So I'm going to go ahead and sit you guys down and do that. All right, guys, so there we have it. We got it out in one piece. So we're going to go ahead and go in here and grab a new one. All right, so once it's in, you'll want to just pull it up into place. But first, before you do that, we're going to turn the car on so that we can just flip the window switch without having to do too much. But what you want to do is pull the window all the way up into place and then we'll hit the window switch and then that'll bring the actuator up and then it'll automatically click into place. So let's go ahead and turn the car on. Let me put the key in the car first so I can do that. And then we're going to go ahead and move the window into place. So once it's in place, just want to go ahead and grab the window uh, switch and just move it up. And you should hear it click. Let's see if we hear the click. Alright, so there's the click. So it should be in place. And just to test it out, we're going to go ahead and move it up and down just like this. There we have it guys so when putting the door panel back on you want to go ahead and remove that window strip first and we'll install that on there it just makes everything a lot easier so we just go ahead and push these tabs on the back end right there in the middle and there should be one in the back end so just push those tabs in and remove it and install the strip onto the window first so the reason for removing this is to make it a little bit easier on yourself with lining it up with the gaps of the actual door frame like that and the same for the back end so all you'll do is just take the edge of this window and put it into the uh, clips right here and then after that we'll get into the door panel so once it's back on it'll pretty much look like this and before i forget we'll go ahead and do the speaker before the panel so I'll just go ahead and close that little window back up and we'll grab the speaker, screw it back in, and I'll see you guys in a second. So once you have everything plugged up to your panel, you wanna go ahead and roll the window down so that you can get a good grip around it to push the inserts of the door panel into those pins there. All right, so I went ahead and pushed that on with the clips that I showed you. Made sure I went ahead and pushed the whole edge of the door around so you can hear all the popping of all the um, placement pins being in place. Last two things we gotta do is put that push pin in here and that screw on the outside. So once that's done, I'll give you guys a look of the finished product. So before I do the reveal, I'm gonna go ahead and change out this tire and this wheel. I was gonna wait until I came back from the body shop to do it, but I might as well just get it out of the way today. I ain't got nothing but time. So cool story behind these two. I got it from a guy about an hour away. He had a Dodge Demon and he changed out the back of the car and put some drag radios on there after he had a wreck. As you can see, this one is all bent out of shape. But I might end up saving that. I know a guy who does repairs, so I could take it to him. I think he told me about 200 bucks he could fix it, and that's not bad for a wheel that costs about 1600 at the dealership. So I might go ahead and do that. So let me go ahead and throw this Demon wheel on the scat pack. All right, guys, so there we have it. Thing looking good right there, matching up with the rest of them now. Change out that tire. So last thing we got pretty much that's major, as I said before, is just taking it up to the frame shop so they can go ahead and cut and weld this little area here that has all the damage. And after that, pretty much all the big stuff will be done. It'll be just little knickknack stuff after that that I'll put on there. So get it ready for inspection and go ahead and get on the road, man. Give y'all some videos of me doing some riding, sliding, all that, man. So I appreciate you guys tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.